boy, do we have some shit for you this week, everybody. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. It's going down. Uh, last week, we talked a little bit about BlizzCon, actually, and we we're like, we damn, we don't know what's going to happen at BlizzCon with this China con- controversy and then mass just protests. Mass protests and this and that. Um, well, stories have started to come out about what BlizzCon is going to be. And there are four main stage panels immediately following the opening ceremonies that are being kept secret. Mm -hmm. So um, PC Gamer reports that uh, BlizzCon is happening on November 1st, which is, whoa, that's like soon. Holy crap. Did you realize that? It's like a week. No, it's like a week away. Holy crap. Yeah. (coughs) And then um, less than a week away. What am I talking about? (laughs) um, Yeah, I know, right? They said that uh, there are four coming soon entries that will be following the opening ceremonies on the main stage. Um, there are some expectations that we might hear announcements for Diablo 4, word about the next big WoW expansion, and then possibly there's a prediction that StarCraft 3 could be coming. Will that happen? Not really sure. But they have some big things that are coming soon. They are looking to be 45-minute long presentations thereabouts. Um, and... Um, yeah, so I'm curious to see if they can pull themselves back because BlizzCon is always a big event for them. But last year, after they announced that uh, Diablo Immortal was being made, and then they had the comment of, "Do you guys have phones? Duh! Yeah. Like you should have a phone. Duh!" I mean, you had the red they, shirt guy being like, "Is this an out of season April Fool's joke?" Yeah, and what's even crazier is that game still isn't here. I know. So that's good. probably gonna die. That's good. This yeah. is a good thing. Trust me, this is a good thing. Yeah. Um, so and people played it on the showroom floor, and they said it wasn't even that great. Well, yeah, it like, just it was like a, it felt like a cheapy, yeah, generic yeah. mobile game because it was made by Tencent, probably. And yeah, they were like well, it was made by this. some other Chinese company. Yeah, that had made a similar game like that before. Yeah, so it was just basically a knockoff of their old game. Basically, it sucks, and that's not cool. So BlizzCon is coming, and we'll see what happens. But you were going to say. Yeah, they need to, like, all this here needs to be announced. Like, it it needs to be announced. But And if it is, like, even StarCraft 3 is announced, even with Diablo 4, I just don't trust that it'll be what it is shown. Like, I think it's going to be something completely different. Because, you know, at E3, there's plenty of times where um, games are shown, and then it turns out they're completely different. Like Halo right. Two, completely different from when it was actually the actual release. And I did think you th- this sorry tangent for a second, okay. but did you know that Halo Two was the first game to ever have a midnight release? Really, I had no idea. I saw I that no as like either. a going back in time thing the other day. Wow. And uh, yeah, first game Halo Two to have a midnight release and. It was a pop of garbage. No, it wasn't that it was, bad, but it wasn't like kind of disappointing. It was after, very disappointing, yes. Because they were predicting, they were saying one thing and then it changed. Right. Yep. Anyway, uh, I feel like they need to, yes, they need to steer the narrative, steer fans' attention, get people hyped again. And if they announce all these, the hardcore Blizzard fans, uh, you know, some who will care about the Hong Kong ordeal and, and uh, probably many who won't because they just care about Blizzard and the games that they uh, produce, it might steer, you know, the, the conversation in a different direction, which yeah. will be positive for them. But then again, I feel like if this is what's going to happen, they're going to rush out trailers. We're probably not going to see gameplay and they're just going to try to ri- raise some hype around it. And if any of these games release in the following year, which will probably be Diablo 4, if anything... That would be impressive. Obviously, the expansion for World of Warcraft probably come next year as well. Um, so I'm just curious, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. I hope it's. I hope they do a good job with it. I'm nervous about it, and it's also <laughs> hard. Blizzard's in a tough situation now because I mean we've seen Riot Games is trying to compete against them. Which after going back and researching that again, I'm like, I just don't want that to succeed at all because I feel like Riot <laughs> Games is just as bad as Blizzard. At this point, I mean, not the Blizzard. I mean, we like literally six months ago, we were like, Blizzard's a good, good, one well, a year ago. Blizzard's a good company. They're like good people. They do good games and stuff like that. But now Activision's like sinking their dirty teeth into it. And it's just, it's painful. And I feel like Riot Games, when we've talked about all the shit that they've had with their internals and like how they are sexist in their industry and they're, they have long working hours and stuff like that. I just don't want, I don't want people like that to succeed. Mm -hmm. But then there's other alternatives to Diablo, like Pillars of Eternity. I mean, I could even say that 
divinity, even though it's not exactly the same, like is similar in that vein. Um, uh, Path of Exile and things like that. These are like really good, solid games that came out that, yes. you know, can really pushed against Diablo and has out beat them. Right. And I'm kind of okay with that. They have and they haven't because you know, obviously Blizzard has created such a fan base and right. a community and a style that's very unique that it holds a lot of people under that umbrella. At the same time, you know, there's we're seeing that, you know, the dip for now, will it rise again? Most likely. Uh, to what degree, I don't know. But, I mean, when we get to this big business gaming, this is what we see and... For whatever reason, they saw the need to join a giant studio company or publishing company, and here we are with a lot of companies, actually. <laughs> so I know. Well, we're going to keep our eyes on this and keep up to date because it's uh, ever changing. It's almost by almost. It was almost by the day everything was changing. <laughs> Something new would come out, but now it's going to be by the week. And next week we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, next podcast we'll have all the updates that came yeah. out. So we'll be. I, I mean, I'm excited talking about that. I'm excited yeah. to hear. And you know, there's going to be protests, Starcraft. right? Because we don't know how those protests are going to affect that. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're going to be fighting to change that narrative really hard at this thing, right? Because they're going to have a lot of people there. Just it's not going to be good. It'll be really interesting to see how they how they pitch their content. Right. Um, there better not be a mobile game. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, that even if they even barely talk about one, it's gonna really f screw them over. So right, we'll see. 